Hey guys, how's it going? It's Zach. It is nighttime. <laughs> this is this is kind of embarrassing. All right. As you guys saw a couple of days ago, I got kind of carried away with the eye stabilizer monopod, or at least the mount. I put it on my Gorillapod and thought, hey, I can use this for a bike cam. So I tried to go down the road. It worked for maybe 10 seconds. Then iPhone fell out of the mount, hit this pavement, cracked screen. Phone still works, but yeah, I had to get it repaired. So today, Kayla the girl who I was in contact with, she said that she'd be able to fix it for me. So, she came some, like, when I was on break from work, got the phone, and said, all right, I'll have it ready by, like, 6 o'clock. And I said, all right, just drop it down at work. Then, while I'm at work, she texts me and says, um, we have a problem. And I'm thinking, oh, jeez, what's going on? In a nutshell, the replacement screen she got was a dud, meaning it didn't work or something didn't go on. I'm not sure, but she's going to see if she can get a replacement screen. So it's going to take her a couple of days to get my iPhone fixed. But, like, I still have two videos on there that I need to upload. I haven't uploaded The Road to Cobbaquid that I recorded on Saturday. And also, day 16 is still on there. The best day ever. The day I got this. And I completely, like, go crazy because CTFXC. Wi-Fi. Is that, is that how you do it? Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi? Um, maybe that, like, Wi-Fi? I don't know, anyway, just tangent. So yeah, day 16 is still going to be going up. I have it recorded, it's all set to go, I just need to upload it. And I don't know why I didn't do that while I was waiting for her when I was on my break. But, nevertheless, it's going to be up, it's going to be out there, there's going to be a gap in the uh, in the playlist. It's going to say day 15, and then it's going to jump to day 17. When day 16 is able to be uploaded, I'll just put I'll just like pick it up and put it between 15 and 17. So that's going to be all right. Moral of this story: If you want to do a bike cam type scenario, and you don't firmly have like the camera itself locked in place, don't do it. Like, a mount is great, but don't use it while you're moving. At least not while you're moving fast. And it's susceptible to hitting the pavement and cracking or just getting injured. So, for the next few days, these are going to be the types of vlogs that I'm going to do because CTFXC, Charles has never missed a day and I'm not going to miss a day until the challenge is over because that's part of the challenge, like, or that's part of any challenge really, like, if stuff happens that makes it complicated or you have to switch it up a little bit, you gotta, you gotta adjust, you gotta adapt and that's what I'm doing. So these are the types of vlogs that are going to be happening for the next couple of days. Just me sitting down, talking to you guys, one on X number of people who are watching, like I said in a previous video. It's going to be good. Having said all of that, now I can tell you guys what's going to be going on with me. Karen's going to be coming over and we are going to be watching Percy Jackson Sea of Monsters, which we were going to watch the other night, but she hadn't seen Lightning Thief, so we watched Lightning Thief, and she loved it. Before Percy Jackson, though, we we're going to watch the second episode of Heroes of Cosplay. While I'm on the subject of cosplay, I want to show you guys 
my materials that I have for my paratrooper cosplay for uh, Real Life for Life. I have this pillow and I'm going to cut it out in a circular form so that I can then spray paint it with this. I'll spray paint it red and turn it into a shell. I'm going to cut some, like, just make some small slits on either side so I can put my reflective elastic tape that I have for my bike. I can put those through and then I can actually wear it. I will do the accents on the shell with duct tape. Not duct tape, but duct tape the way everyone says it, because who really says duct tape? That, that just sounds weird to put so much emphasis on that T, just, just say just duct tape. It's easy. Then for the wings, I have this fiber form all ready to go. I just need to cut it out in the fashion that I want, and I'll, oh yeah, right, I'll also have to put slits on the pillow for the wings. So, yeah. Those are my materials for my paratrooper cosplay for the shell and the wings. I'm really looking forward to making it. I think it's going to be a lot of fun at the relay. And I also have another small costume that I might do depending on the timing of the relay because we're not, they don't go from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. anymore and we go throughout the night, which I loved those times. We're actually going from 1 p.m. to 1 a.m., which isn't as fun, but it's not completely about the fun. It's about raising money for a great cause and fighting cancer, which I'm pretty sure you'll all agree is quite up there on my list. Once again, I am very sorry that day 16 for the CTFXE challenge and the Road to Cobbquid episode 2 are not up, but they'll be going up as soon as I can. Once J Kayla gets my phone back to me, they'll be uploaded and live so you guys can check them out and see what's going on in my life. Alright guys, that's it for me. I will talk to you later.